This is Dell Precision SM9510 uh, heatsink assembly. It has two fans. Uh, this heatsink goes to CPU. From it, uh, two heat pipes go. One goes to this pipe. It's uh, to do this fan. It's fatter one, and another one goes to this fan. Uh, Here is the image of. Uh, Dell Precision 7510, a motherboard with Intel Xeon CPU, and you can see there is, there are like two 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 chips there. Uh, I initially thought that the smaller one is th is the Intel graphical Intel Intel GPU, uh, but now uh, when I think about it more, also i7 series have an integrated GPU, but they don't have this chip. So, uh, I think maybe this is some Intel Xenon magic, maybe it's uh, extra memory or something, I don't know. Either way, uh, CPU would be faced like this, so the larger part goes here and then the smart, uh, smaller part here. Uh, but it doesn't matter because this uh, copper plate is a very good heat conductor, so it, it actually connects uh, both heat pipes. And now uh, this part, this heatsink goes to, uh, to to the secondary graphical processing unit, e either to AMD or to NVIDIA one. And, uh, and from it, just one pipe goes to this uh, this fan. Uh, I have thermally isolated this assembly from the table with this uh, cardboard, and also I have lifted up this pipe from this aluminium part, so there is no uh, heat conduction before uh, between them. And also I put, uh, I put these uh, thermal compounds on the pipes, so I can take temperature reading from them uh, by applying my thermal probe like this, uh, so it gets a, a better uh, conductivi thermal conductivity. So uh, what I will do now, I will uh, apply a, te a, a temperature to the main heatsink and uh, let's see how well all this system conducts heat. I will use this uh, metal <coughs> cup as a source for uh, heat and the uh, hot water boiling will be providing heat to entire the system and this we will be able to measure how quickly he travels to different parts of of this uh, solution. So, a bit of thermal compound. Cup. And here comes water. So <clears throat> let's take temperature readings now. First here, 26 degrees. Now here, 30 degrees here. Yeah, it seems it's not a great uh, heat source. But you can uh, quickly see that heat has very quickly traveled from, from this part of pipe to here, see? It's 33 degrees here, it's 33 degrees there, it's 30, it's 29 degrees there, but now let's see temperature here. Surprisingly, it's just 22 degrees. It's like heat is not traveling at all in this pipe. It's, it's quite hot here, 32 degrees. And then here, it's still hot, not, not as much, but it's 27 degrees. But here, the temperature is dropping, it's weird. It's like this smaller pipe is not working actually. So, 
it's 30, it's 30, 40 degrees now here. I could put it under the basket. What's the temperature there? It's strange because it's like boiling hot water, but it's not showing up the temperature. I guess the system is very well dissipating the heat. 40, 2 degrees. 40 degrees here. 37. 36. And here? 26. 25. Disappointing. Very disappointing. It's not working. I think this I think this heat pipe is broken. It shouldn't it shouldn't be like this. No no no. It's very bad. So yeah, this is I, I believe this is how you can diagnose maybe some issues with your with your fun uh, and with your heats and assembly. Thank you, thank you.